Bangkok, the vibrant capital city of Thailand, is a must-visit destination for travelers seeking a unique blend of culture, history, shopping, and dining experiences. With its fascinating temples, bustling markets, delicious street food, and luxurious shopping malls, Bangkok offers something for everyone. In this video, we will guide you through a 7-day itinerary that will allow you to discover the best of Bangkok's attractions. So buckle up and get ready for an unforgettable adventure in the heart of Thailand. When to visit November to February This is the cool and dry season in Bangkok, with temperatures ranging from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the most popular time to visit Bangkok and is ideal for those who want to avoid the heat and humidity. March to June. This is the hot and dry season in Bangkok with temperatures ranging from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This is not the ideal time to visit for those who are sensitive to heat, but it is a good time for those who want to experience Bangkok's famous festivals such as the Songkran Water Festival in April. July to October. This is the rainy season in Bangkok, with temperatures ranging from 80 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This is not the ideal time for beach vacations, but it is a good time for those who don't mind the rain and want to experience Bangkok's green landscape and avoid the crowds. In general, the best time to visit Bangkok is from November to February, when the weather is cool and dry and the crowds are at their peak. However, the city can be enjoyed year-round and each season has its unique charm. Where to stay? Bangkok offers a range of accommodation options to suit different budgets. Here are some recommended areas and hotels to consider based on your budget. Budget. Khao San Road is a popular area for budget travelers, with a range of budget-friendly hostels and guest houses. Some recommended options in this area include Bangkok Charlie Guest House, ANA Guest House, and J Room Guest House. Mid-range. Sukhumvit is a popular area for mid-range travelers with a range of hotels, service departments, and budget-friendly hotels. Some recommended options in this area include Park Plaza Bangkok Soy 18, the Landmark Bangkok, and the Ambassador Hotel Bangkok. Luxury Siloam and Saitan are popular areas for luxury travelers with a range of 5-star hotels and high-end service departments. Some recommended options in the area include the St. Regis Bangkok, Mandarin Oriental Bangkok, and W Bangkok. No matter what your budget is, it's important to research and compare different options to find the best one that meets your needs and budget. Day 1 Start your day by visiting the Grand Palace, admission 500 Thai baht or approximately $16, opening hours 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Spend the morning exploring this beautiful complex of buildings and courtyards that showcase Thai architecture and decor. After lunch, visit the nearby Wat Pragao, admission 100 Thai baht or approximately $3.20, Opening hours, 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., a temple complex that houses the Emerald Buddha, a highly revered statue made of green jade. In the evening, head to Chatuchak Night Market, opening hours, 5 p.m. to 12 a.m., for some shopping and local street food. Day 2 Start the day with a visit to Wat Po. Admission 100 Thai baht or approximately $3.20. Opening hours 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. A Buddhist temple known for its giant reclining Buddha statue and traditional Thai massage school. After lunch, visit the nearby Wat Arun, Temple of Dawn. 
Admission 50 Thai Baht or approximately $1.60. Opening hours 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. A temple located on the west bank of the Tao Praia River, known for its stunning Khmer style towers decorated with colorful glass and Chinese porcelain. In the evening, take a walk along the river to enjoy the beautiful views and vibrant street life. Day 3 Start the day with a visit to Wat Mong Kong Kamalawat, Dragon Temple. Admission free. Opening hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. A Chinese temple located in Bangkok's Chinatown neighborhood, known for its dragon decorations and vibrant festivals. After lunch, visit the nearby Jim Thompson House Museum. Admission 200 Thai baht or approximately $6.40. Opening hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. A museum showcasing the life and work of American entrepreneur and collector Jim Thompson, as well as Thai arts and antiques. In the evening, head to Siam Paragon Mall, opening hours 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. for some shopping and dining. Day 4 Start the day with a visit to Wat Bin Cha Mabo Pit, the Marble Temple, admission 20 Thai baht or approximately 64 cents. Opening hours 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. A Thai-style temple known for its beautiful marble facade and intricate carvings. After lunch, visit the nearby Wat Rachanada. Admission free. Opening hours 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. A temple known for its stunning Loha Prasat, multi-tiered structure, as well as its beautiful gardens and murals. In the evening, stroll through Lumpini Park, Bangkok's largest park for some relaxation and people watching. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you subscribe, let us know in the comments by typing I subscribed along with your favorite travel destination. Day 5 Start the day with a visit to Icon Siam Mall, opening hours 10 a.m. to 10 p.m one of Bangkok's newest and largest shopping malls, known for its stylish design and top brand stores. After lunch, visit the nearby Wat Saket, the Golden Mount, admission 30 Thai baht or approximately 96 cents, opening hours 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. A temple located on a hill overlooking the city, known for its golden chetty and panoramic views. In the evening, head back to Icon Siam Mall for some more shopping and dining. Day 6 Start the day with a visit to Chatu Chak Weekend Market, opening hours 9am to 6pm, one of the largest outdoor markets in the world, offering a vast array of goods from clothing and accessories to furniture and food. After lunch, visit the nearby Wat Sutat, admission 20 Thai baht or approximately 64 cents. Opening hours 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. A temple known for its stunning main hall, large bronze Buddha image, and beautiful frescoes. In the evening, enjoy a traditional Thai massage at one of the many spa and massage centers in the city. Day 7 on the last day of your trip, spend some time relaxing at one of Bangkok's many local parks, such as Swan Luang Rama 9 Park, Roma Ninat Park, or Benjakiti Park. Alternatively, take a day trip to one of the nearby attractions, such as the Floating Market, the Ancient City, or the Elephant Village. How to get around There are several ways to get around Bangkok, including BTS SkyTrain. This is a fast and convenient mode of transportation that runs on elevated tracks and covers many of the city's key tourist destinations and shopping areas. MRT. This is Bangkok's underground metro system that provides fast and convenient access to several major attractions, shopping malls, and business areas. Tuk Tuk. This is a popular mode of transportation for short distances especially for tourists. It offers an authentic and exciting way to experience the city, but be aware that the prices are often higher for tourists. Taxis. 
Taxis are a convenient option for getting around the city, although traffic can be heavy during peak hours. Make sure to use a meter taxi and agree on the fare before starting the journey. Motorbike taxis. This is a fast and affordable way to get around the city, especially in heavy traffic, but can be a bit dangerous for tourists. Public buses. This is a cheap way to get around the city, but it can be difficult to navigate and crowded. Whichever mode of transportation you choose, make sure to plan ahead and budget accordingly, as costs can add up quickly in Bangkok. Tips. Bargain. When using tuk-tuks or motorbike taxis, don't be afraid to bargain for a fair price before starting the journey. Wear appropriate clothing. When visiting temples and other cultural attractions, be sure to dress modestly and cover your knees and shoulder. Stay hydrated. Bangkok is hot and humid, so be sure to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated throughout your travels. Use the meter. When taking taxis, always make sure the driver uses the meter, as non-metered taxis often charge more for tourists. Have cash on hand. Many street vendors and smaller shops do not accept credit cards, so be sure to have some cash on hand. Be mindful of scams. Bangkok is known for its scams aimed at tourists, so be mindful and informed of common scams such as overpriced tuk-tuk rides or fake gym shops. With this itinerary, you'll have had a chance to experience the best that Bangkok has to offer, from its cultural and historical attractions to its bustling markets and stylish shopping malls. Remember, this is just a sample itinerary and you can adjust it as per your interest in time. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, you're sure to have had a great time in this exciting city. We hope you found this itinerary helpful and that you enjoy your trip to Bangkok. And don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel for more fun itineraries to destinations around the world.